First of all, congrats on the Friday Night Fights win. Your career really seems to have taken off. There's so many people talking about you now and you're really impressed. Even Teddy Atlas was pretty high on you that night. You must have felt pretty pretty pleased with your performance. Yeah, I was very pleased with my performance. Um, I had to go to America. It was my first opportunity overseas. And you've got to make the most of your first opportunity. So I wanted to put on a show for the crowd, for everyone in America and ESPN. And yeah, I heard Teddy Atlas gave us some good reviews and I was wrapped. You really showed your skills that night. You know, you completely controlled the fight. You used your jab, you used your right hand when you need to when you came in. And um, you know, it, it must have been, um, I suppose, opened up a lot of people's eyes who maybe hadn't seen you because, you know, you know millions of people around the world watch ESPN yeah. Friday night fights. Um, it was awesome. We know we've got a whole kit of tools. Um, my shoulder rolling, my defensive skills. Now I'm starting to bring out my attack. I've got the attack, but I'm just starting to slowly bring it out. And I'm looking forward to the fight against Kovalev. Now, Sergey Kovalev, August. August. Uh, big opportunity, you know. What, what do you know about him? Have you seen much of him? I've seen plenty of him. He's the top of the division, so I've been looking at him for a long time because you aim to be the best. Um, Sergey's a strong, strong guy. So he's fit, very fit. He throws light punch. Everyone thinks he's a massive power puncher, but he sets you up. So. We're ready for him, we're going to give him plenty. So what's the, the training plan? How long do you stay here and when do you go over there for? Uh, I'm going over there two weeks before the fight. I'll finish my last sparring up there. Uh, so I've had five weeks, it'll be a total of five weeks down here. And it's been a great preparation so far. Now you're here today training with Sam Solomon and Saki Abika. Does that give you that extra inspiration? You see what those guys have achieved on yeah, the world scene? definitely. You see those title belts and you want them. That's what I want. I want to bring home the WBO title. Um, it's an inspiration. Like, I'm just training very hard, I don't want them. And where are you actually training here in Australia? Where, are you moving around different gyms? Or? I'm down in Melbourne, we've got a gym down there, um, Team Caprio Labruna Boxing. Um, but I'll come up here to train with uh, Sakio. so it's been good, I'll move around and we're flying now an American and New Zealander to help us out finish prep, so we're looking forward to it. And you know, what have you got to do on the night to win, become world champion? I've got to give him my best. I'm going to come with several game plans and I'm going to test him out. Everyone else goes there to survive, I'm going there to win. I'm going to give him everything. They can say I'm not a power puncher. I've got news for him. Thanks for your time, Blake, and good luck with the fight. We're Thank looking forward to another much. Aussie world champion. That's it. Thank you very much.